What's up? New rebuild season. Houston Texans. Houston, we have a problem. This organization is a nightmare, and we are going to be taking over the franchise as the one and only owner of many Teslas, multi billion dollar, multi billionaire weirdo, Elon Musk, just moved his company to Texas. He said it was because of the climate or something about not liking California. A liar. Liar. He wanted to buy the Houston Texans and save them because deep down, he was a huge football fan all along. So Elon Musk is the man to save the Houston Texans. But first, everybody wants the hell out of here. All the players, they don't want anything to do with this. They know this team's going to stink. And the new owner can't fix the fact that something called a Cullen is the head coach. Not really sure what that's all about. But this is going to be a, a quote-unquote realistic rebuild. It's going to be a blow-it-all-up rebuild. We're, we're building this team from scratch. But there's some pieces here that just can't be moved. We are going to move to Sean Watson. We're going to do right by him. First off, of course, we need to go ahead and let J.J. Watt go. I actually need to get through the Super Bowl first. We are basically going to let everyone go. There's a couple pieces that just can't be moved because it doesn't make sense. But for the most part, we're going to be we're going to be starting this team from scratch and basically we're throwing we're throwing Cullen or Coley or whoever the head coach is, we're throwing him to the Wolves. He's going to go out the first year and probably not win a whole lot. Probably not going to win a whole lot of games next year, but He's gonna he's gonna rally the rookies, gonna rally the troops, that veteran experience that he has, and uh, turn off the Madden music. Wow, that's got to be annoying. I'm annoyed myself that I. All right, so now that our our Twitch stream has officially been copyright hidden, uh, we can get started, just as I intended. All right. So let's let's get to next stage. We got to be more careful because this is using an online file with my actual. That's how I'm able to get my rosters is to do an actual online franchise. So there's no saving and stopping and fixing everything. So where's Watson? Oh, good grief, Madden. Madden just wanted this to be as pos as difficult as humanly possible. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to get the bonus correct over the correct amount of time. And then I'll, f I'll edit his contract to wherever he ends up. So the bonus is $67 million with five years left. So I'll just do that, and then I'll fix the salary cap hit for whoever acquires them. That'll make things easier. And there's actually no guarantees left in the final season, so I'm just going to do four, four years there. All right. So let's start with that big move. Let's start with the Deshaun Watson trade, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I'm just trying to lower the Spotrack contract menu. So we obviously got to release the Jage. Goodbye, JJ. Go sign with the Packers. Go win Super Bowls. The other guy we need to... Benardrick McKinney is actually signed here. So I should fix his contract as well. Ugh, what a mess. We'll fix him next week. <laughs> Once it actually rolls over the contracts there. Uh, so obviously going to have lots of cuts and stuff. A lot of veterans here that we're going to be trading away. But to begin with, Deshaun Watson will be on the move. And the question is to where? 
There's the Jets situation with the Jets. Part with the number two pick. Wood. Ooh, we got that hype train rolling, baby. Let's go. Thank you, guys. The Jets is, is kind of my ideal situation here. Is we get that number two pick. We get Darnold back. Maybe build around Darnold. Maybe we take Zach Wilson. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I am going to do a poll on my Twitter, on t at TFG Plays on Twitter, and you guys are going to decide where we do this trade. I'm also asking my roster buddy if he's going to be around to help execute this. I'm really hoping that I'm really hoping you guys can show up and vote Jets because I want to get Darnold. I really want to get Darnold and try to build around him. But right now, Denver's leading. Uh-oh, time's up. I think it's Denver. Damn, you guys screwed me over. All right, Denver Broncos it is. <laughs> recount, recount. So all I need now is our buddy here, D-Wall, who's been helping me out with some roster stuff, um, to help us out. I gotta send him a. I gotta send him a quick invite, because otherwise, because I'm in an online league. I can't, um, I can't force trades and stuff. So let's decide the trade value here. I'm thinking it's just going to be a boatload of picks because there's not a lot of veterans that are going to want to come in here. I do think we should get Drew Locke as a quarterback. Um, it's not really a matter of like getting players because the players are just going to be pissed when they show up. So... bring Kareem Jackson back. I think it's really just going to be like their first first, second, third, first, second, third, I think. I think that's going to be our uh Drew Locke, first, second, third, first, second, third. I'm just telling our buddy here. I must have done their schedule wrong. We'll have to we'll have to do some more magic. Man. I, I screwed up a couple things here. I don't know if that's because of ties or what happened there, but. And then we'll also send just like Elijah and Casa. And then we'll send Buddy Howell. And then. Once he's done that, let's see if we can send. Who ended up with the ninth pick, just to fix this from our perspective at least.
Thank you for dealing with me, guys, while I figure out all these logistics, because you know how Madden is. Panthers ended up with the ninth pick. All right, lucky Panthers. Watch, they're going to decline this, though. <laughs> lucky Panthers in this situation, they get a draft pick upgrade. Where do I think J.J. Watt will go? Um, I actually, if you have Spotify, check out my latest podcast. I broke it all down. Um, search the Fully Inflated Football Podcast. I talk about Packers, Steelers, Browns, Bucks, all the possibilities. Okay, so... We have draft picks again. Now it's time to break down the rest of this roster. So we have a quarterback in Drew Locke. Now I skipped over his uh, I skipped over some of the development trait things from my dev trait change suggestions. I had no idea we were gonna end up getting Drew Locke, so I'm gonna put him down in normal where I suggest. David Johnson, pretty obvious cut. He doesn't have uh David Johnson, now that uh, or he doesn't have any trade value now that Bill O'Brien's not in the league. Duke Johnson, I think we could probably trade off for, although that cap hit's pretty large. I don't think anyone wants, no one would want Duke at that money. So we're going to have to release Duke. This is a realistic type of uh, blow it all up scenario. Brandon Cooks definitely has some trade value, so we'll send him off. Um... Teams that need a deep threat. Bengals, potentially. Browns, potentially. Cardinals. <laughs> Could the Cardinals be another benefactor? I kind of like the Cardinals. Third round pick for Cooks. He went for a second round pick the last time, but he stayed healthy and produced. I think a second is still okay for Cooks. Because he's cheap. The worry with him, the reason he was only a second round pick is because there was worry about worries about his concussions. I think he's still worth a second. Nah, guys, we're we're trading all the veterans that wouldn't want to be here in real life. That's the idea here. Is we are getting rid of the guys that don't want to be here. Cooks doesn't want to be here. So we're gonna send him for a, a second. think uh, yeah not a high second it'd be a mid to late so that'd be like what about the Jets pick from the Seahawks oh they don't have it never mind um, could send them to the Packers the Packers would never make that move though and they can't really afford it Cooks openly said he doesn't want to be traded again and to just cut him instead. Yeah, but he actually has trade value, so. It's not like Watt where you're only getting a fifth round pick. I mean, we can work it out with Cooks where we send him somewhere he wants to go. Just trying to think of where that is. I mean... Texans or uh, Cardinals you guys really think it's that unrealistic just because Cook said he doesn't want to be traded it's unrealistic I mean he definitely has second round value everything everything every player says doesn't mean that that's what's going to happen we're going to go Cardinals they have the cap space for them it's exactly what they need. Uh, Stills got cut. He's not here anymore. Cobb is just going to have to stick around. He has no value. No point in releasing him. Um, so the wide receiver room is there. 
Tight end room is what it is. Tunsil, we can't get rid of him. Thanks for the sub, Disfigured Bob. Uh, Nick Martin. He just signed recently. Right? He's got two years remaining. We might want to move him. Fulton's going to be a release here. Oh, yeah, we're going to get rid of Calamente with that cap hit. Good call, chat. Yeah, we'll cut. We're going to let anyone anyone that's like a veteran. Basically just rookies and... Rookies and guys that have signed recently are sticking around. Cobb just has... He's signed recently. He's got too big of a cap hit, so we can't let him go. No, I'm not going to trade Fuller. He's about to hit free agency. So, yeah, Tunsil's got a stick. Sharping's a recent pick. Martin is 50-50. Titus Howard's a recent pick. We'll, we'll let uh, Roderick Johnson go. He's way too expensive for a crappy backup. Menahue, recent pick. Brandon Dunn, see ya. Brennan Scarlett, I don't think he would necessarily want out just because he's he's not going to start anywhere else, so he'll stick around. McKinney, we need to fix his con or uh, sorry, Zach Cunningham, we need to fix his contract. He is uh, super expensive here, and is he in the resign stage? Let's let's see if we can just fix that right now. So he gets he gets a lot of money here. Let me just look up his uh So this has gotta be four years. He has eighteen million dollar guaranteed left. And it's 21, 33 and a half, 42. So we got to go four years. 42 million. Whoa. I forgot that that's yearly. So the yearly salary is going to be 10 million. And the signing bonus is about six. That seems too high. Eighteen eighteen divided by four is that's why it's too high. Eighteen divided by four is fourteen and a half. And then his base salary is about ninety or so. That's what it is. Okay. We've offic officially fixed everything, guys. Wait, Lovey is the new defensive coordinator for the Texans? That's amazing. Uh, yeah, I'll run a I'll run a four three defense next year for sure. Okay, so Jacob Martin, we're gonna let him go. He's not gonna fit the new defense anyway. Benardrick McKinney, I think I'm gonna trade. He's twenty eight years old. He would be worth like a fourth round pick, I think. And the team that I think would love Benardrick McKinney is the Patriots. He's like their kind of linebacker. They got tons of cap space. So I'm going to send McKinney to the Patriots because he, he's totally their 
their type of uh, type of dude. Tyrell Adams played decent for this team last year. We'll keep him. Dylan Cole is probably in the, is he in the last year of his. If you're just tuning in, Deshaun Watson was sent to Denver for their first, second, and third this year, the first, second, and third next year, Andrew Locke. Dylan Cole here, he is a team captain. I think his contract is up, so we'll, we don't have to worry about that. Merciless is definitely a cut. I'm going to free Whitney Merciless. And then Bradley Roby, he goes up to superstar because of the simulation stats, which reminds me I need to I need to set my um, XP sliders. Roby just signed here recently, so he's he's stuck around here. I think we'll keep those guys in the secondary. Justin Reed, this is a tough one. I feel like Justin Reed would probably want out. If we're letting everyone out. I love Justin Reed, but. If, if the idea is we're letting anyone with a certain. Keep Justin Reed. I want to keep Justin Reed. I'm just wondering if he, he wants to set, he wants to stay. I feel, ah, man. <laughs> Chad is very split. He's he's right down the middle. What if by keeping him, we extend him to a, like we make him the highest paid safety in the NFL to make him happy. Yeah, Joe just said exactly what I was thinking. We overpay him so that he stays. I like that idea. I like that a lot. So, I don't... Is his contract up? Let's see. We'll, we'll work that out in the offseason. So, as far as the re-signings go... Conley... I don't think any of these guys really want to come back. Okay, Scarlet is... Scarlet actually might be a decent re-sign. I think he's never... He's not going to get... He's not going to get to start anywhere else, and we like him here, so... Okay, he wants to test the free agency. Dylan Cole's up. We'll let him hit the market. Okay. So there's the blow up. We we just blew up the uh we just blew up the team. It's too bad we don't get a compensatory pick for Will Fuller, but maybe we should tag and trade him just to make up for the fact that we would be getting a comp pick for him. I'm going to do that. I'm going to effectively... manipulate this thing here. I'll, uh, I'll go and edit his contract with wherever... This is just, this isn't actually what we're doing. This is, uh, this is exploiting the game for realism right here. We're going to pick where he's going to sign. And, uh, we're just doing this to make up for the whole no compensatory pick thing. So, we're going to trade him for a future third round pick. And I really like Will Fuller to the Jets. So we're going to get the 2022 third from the Jets for him. And then I got to go edit his contract. All right. Nice, nice.
so now we just need to... I love how our players have negative morale, too. They're like, God, this sucks. Why am I stuck here? Um, all right. That's the Will Fuller contract. Rename the team the Houston Teslas. <laughs> So I need to do gameplay sliders. I need to fix Deshaun Watson's contract. Oh, sorry. Well, there there are the gameplay sliders. In case you're wondering. And then XP sliders. I'm just going to go standard. Makes it easy for when people ask. So I do need to hire some bum head coach. Roy Henkel, you're going to be calling for the year. We're going to definitely switch it up to a, a different coach after the first year. Free agency. JJ Watt, the Ravens are going after him. How about that? So we're rolling with Drew Locke. We might sign a backup at some point in there. We currently have no running backs on the roster. So I'll probably wait. God, the crazy thing is we don't even have much cap space. That's what's insane. That's what's absolute insanity here. So, like, it's not even really worth it to, like, spend money in free agency for us. Especially because I'm going to overpay for Justin Reed. I honestly think we should just skip to, like, the second stage here. Because spending big money for a free agency is just not, not in our cards right now. So we're going to go ahead. We got our staff. The other thing I kind of want to do is build a new stadium while, I, uh, while I'm the owner. Because I'm going to switch to a coach once we actually hire a, a real coach. So I'm actually going to... rebuild the stadium. I don't know if I can do that right now or how that works. I'm going to stay as the Texans though, I think. Cuz we just did a our last rebuild, we we did a rebrand. So we're going to stay as the Texans. Can't rebuild the stadium in the offseason. Okay. So I do need to import um, a shout out to our, our, our man for randomizing some of the development traits. D wall helping us out. Oh, but shoot some of the, we got the college glitch and it didn't save the combine grades. I just screwed up. I hate, this game sucks. This game is such absolute ass, the amount of glitches. Because now we're not going to get... It, it breaks the classes, and then we don't even get the combine grade. But at least we'll have the right colleges. So, really glad that happened. Thanks, EA's in the chat for that one. Thanks, EA. Thanks, EA. Thanks. All I want to do is have a fun rebuild, and EA Sports is like, no, our game sucks ass. Suck it. You get no fun. So I guess we'll just go ahead and scout. Um, I would love to rebuild this offensive line. It's a good offensive line class, so let's just... 
The other thing I do need to do is a lot of you guys have pointed out that Zach Wilson gets drafted before Trevor Lawrence, so I'm just going to make Lawrence better instead of making Wilson worse. Not sure if that'll fix the bug or not, but... That should, I would think, fix Lawrence going number one overall. I just released a draft class update today, by the way, guys. Make sure you go check it out. It's on both uh, Xbox generations. You got Tevin Jenkins in the class now along with some other guys. Thank you, Honk Boy, for explaining why Sewell's name is spelled incorrectly. Thanks for the sub, MTK Chan. Man, the start of this has been all over the place. Uh, thank you, Sidian, for the reminder. We gotta fix, fix Watson's contract here. So he has no guarantees left, but we definitely need to make that right. So he has, let's just, let's just get the average here. So 10, base salary is only 10.5 next year. So 10.5 plus 35 plus 20 plus 32 plus 32 divided by five. So we need, Five years for 129.5. So bear with me, chat, while we bump this up. So if you're just tuning in, this whole the whole series is going to be uploaded on TFG Plays, my secondary YouTube channel. Make sure you go check that out. And make sure you're following at TFG Plays on Twitter for all stream time announcements. If you haven't checked out my uh, Nighthawks rebuild, it is by far the coolest rebuild I've ever done. It was an absolute blast. If you're looking for some good Madden content, highly suggest it. Make Matt Ryan a kicker so they draft fields. That's not a bad idea. They won't cut Matt Ryan, will they? Does that actually work? We'll see if it works. Hopefully they don't cut them. Or maybe we should do it. Maybe we should do it on draft day. Just remind me, remind me right before the draft to give that a try. Okay, so it is stage two of free agency. We, <laughs> should we bring Mitch Trubisky in to compete with Drew Locke? That would be the most polarizing quarterback battle ever. Dude, I'm going to do it. For cheap, though, for... I don't know if he'll take this deal or not, but that's all he's getting right now. Okay, running back. Maybe... I don't even, I don't even want to, like... I feel like none of these free agents would really want to come here. Especially at this stage in the game. Do you like Kari blasting it? Oh, we have we have Colin Gillespie. We don't need him. Malcolm Brown. I actually like that from Texas. That's kind of the the only guys we're gonna be able to appeal to is guys that have a reason to come here. So 
So I like that. Wide receiver, we got Cobb, we got Kuti. Let's see if we can find other guys that might make sense. Packers let Alan Lazard go. Josh Reynolds. Josh Reynolds is, is a Texas guy. Texas A&M. We'll give him what he's asking for. He's not getting that on the market, so that's fine. Quincy Anunua, like an, a reclamation project after his injury. It's like all we can do here. Tim Patrick, he's familiar with Locke. That's a good idea, actually. Let's let's retract. It's a good suggestion. Let's retract Anunua and grab Tim Patrick. Two years. I'm not going to give him quite that much, but it's more than anyone else is offering. Okay, tight end. We got a young group there. We're good at left tackle. We got sharpening at guard. We're going to keep Nick Martin for now. We do need a right guard. Ron Leary used to play for... Coming off an injury, used to play for the Cowboys, so we'll do that. And then defense, our D-line isn't half bad. We, we're going to have Blacklock and a Menahue. We're switching to a 4-3 next year, so we do kind of need... We need some pieces in the front seven here, so let's go. Maybe Tim Jernigan. Eh. Marcel Darius is a good one. He's been out of the league for a while. No one's wanted him. So we'll go there, and then we need Everson Griffin's a good one. He's got connections to Texas, I'm pretty sure. At least he wears he wears um, he wears cowboy hats to Timberwolves games. I know that when he used to work for the Wolves, Everson Griffin would always show up and like cowboy attire not Dallas Cowboys like actual cowboy attire Randy Gregory's another kind of obvious flyer to go for here I don't know how how much these guys are gonna like these deals but Scarlett's he played the market well he's actually gonna get paid we definitely need another linebacker here. Kirksey. Ron Leary is retired. Thanks, Madden. Okay, we'll retract that. All right, well, we need somebody to play guard. Should we take Jonathan Cooper out of retirement? Or not out of retirement, but... Give him a total reclamation project. All right, we're going to go... Oh, also, I think our music stopped. No, it's still going. To hear Whitehead, is he Texas? He's Temple. <laughs> Clay Matthews.
Um, I'm just looking for another off-ball linebacker here. Maybe Bradham. Bradham might make the most sense there. We're going to have to be pretty cheap at corner. Conley's not getting any offers, so... Gonna have to make him a. And then we'll just we'll figure it out at safety. We are out of cap space. Only so much you can do when you're screwed at cap. Alright. Got most of those guys. Some decent signings, all things considered. Randy Gregory's going to the Jets, okay. We could use another off-ball linebacker here. I'm kinda thinking Malcolm Malcolm Smith. This is so depressing. <laughs> Man, Madden is, they're just coming up with new things every day of the week. Jabril star, star, star. Okay, that's all we can do. Okay, we did not get everybody. But let's scout let's scout some of these backs. This itch on my nose. Alright. So we are going to lower Matt Ryan's awareness temporarily so that the Falcons maybe draft. Fields. Let's give it a try. Yeah, dude, Madden is... They're starting to censor, like, everything. Like, I know it's 2020 and people get offended by everything these days, but Madden goes over the top by, like, censoring everything they possibly could think of. What's up, Crimson and White? Change Finley also. Bengals can't be drafting a quarterback. Is Burrow still injured? I don't think Burrow's injured. I think that'll be all right. I think he's okay because it's my roster. Yeah, he's all right. Okay, let's start the draft. And the moment of truth. Do the Jags take Trevor Lawrence? Yeah, they do. Okay, now... So the draft order got moved a little bit. We'll just pretend it was trades. I, I plugged in a couple of the games wrong, and that was enough to throw off the draft order a little bit. So sorry about that, guys. But let's pretend there was some trades. Panthers moved up with the Dolphins or something like that. So we could trade up. 
it's definitely an option. We're we're really not in a position to like support a young quarterback though. I feel like we should just build up the core here. I mean, if we if we trade up for Zach Wilson, we're kind of screwing ourselves here. And yeah, we already did Zach Wilson. That's true. So I'm gonna. I'm going to let this one, I'm going to let it come to us. The Jets take Zach Wilson. So Sam Darnold would be available in this world. Just saying. Bengals grab Jamar Chase. Panthers who moved up grab Micah Parsons. Fascinating, but, and it worked guys. The Falcons get fields. So now we can go and fix Matt Ryan immediately. So I don't forget, leave him at a 62 overall or whatever. I'm actually gonna make him just a little better. Regression hit him pretty nasty. All right, so the, the Dolphins now take Sewell. Damn, what a steal at six. And we got the Eagles holding on to Carson Wentz in this world, grabbing Patrick Sertan. And then the Lions take Devonta Smith. So Trey Lance is there. I'm not ready for Lance. We could take Kyle Pitts. That'd be pretty sweet. Pitt's not exact. I'm, I'm thinking trading down is the way to go, though. I'd love to rebuild the offensive line. I'm just going to see what we can get. They usually give us crap offers. Yeah, Madden's not giving us anything. I mean, we could try to make some offers, but it's probably going to be a waste of time. Let's just have fun for a second. So what if like the Chargers could we get a extra third? Or do we just take pits? I've never used pits in this game. Maybe we should just take pits. He's like the third best player in this class. All right, we're gonna do pits. Stud finder. I gotta, to be honest, I gotta up that catching on, on the draft class. He'll, he'll develop, but. Okay. Ooh, Tevin Jenkins falls. I'm going to take him. We got a right tackle. That was too easy. Tevin Jenkins, lo kind of local out of Oklahoma State. That was that was a no-brainer pick right there. And then we pick again here from the Cardinals. So Lance falls. Look, is it like the most realistic thing in the world? No, but like, can I picture this kind of happening? Yeah. I mean, like I said, he's the most polarizing prospect ever. I think I should do it. Chat says no. I Look, guys, I get all the mock drafts say he's going to go in the top 15, but the guy's played one year of college football. 
If he fell to the middle of the second round, I don't think it'd be the craziest shit that's ever happened. I'm gonna do it. Does Lance only have 85 throw power? Yeah, I gotta fix that. I might have to do some uh, post post editing on these guys. <laughs> it's weird. I, you know what I bet happened? There's a glitch. There's a glitch with the class editor where if you raise things too fast, it doesn't save. I can almost guarantee you that's what happened because I vividly remember boosting Lance's throw power, but it must not have saved because of that stupid glitch. Shocker, a Madden glitch making everyone yell at each other. All right, so Trey Smith is still there in the third round. Eric Stokes, Diami Brown, who we love, Jalen Darden out of North Texas in the third. I want Jalen Darden. We pick again in a couple picks. So I'm going to take... I'm going to take Trey Smith. Because we don't even have a right guard right now. And then... We're going to grab... Jalen Darden. The bad man. I just made him today. We haven't even gone defense yet, have we? Tamari and Terry and Tutu Atwell are there. These receivers are falling. Diami Brown is still there. God, we could just... Should we take shit Newsome? Well, we just took a five foot nine receiver. I think I'm gonna take Diami Brown. He's more of that do-it-all perimeter guy. All right, now we should take a defensive player. So... Jacob Stevens is tempting for a linebacker. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta boost Nick Bolton. That's my bad. Um, maybe KJ Britt. I'm not gonna grab Bolton just because that's. That's a draft bugaboo. Need to fix that. Roche falling a little bit here. Grab Roche. Ooh. I didn't know I have him with Hidden Dev. It's possible our... Uh, I forgot that we had our helper. We had our helper change some of these devs, so I think that's... That might have been one that our draft helper put in there. Man, these receivers are still there. Israel Mukuamu. So many receivers. Should we take Mukuamu? All right, done.
Definitely loading up on picks. God, these receivers are still there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna grab Nazrul Dean. Even though he's not very good, but chat was calling for him, so we'll do it. Can't nail all these picks. Okay, 2-2 two -two is still here in the sixth round. Gotta grab 2-2. Two -two. 96 speed. Not sure why these guys fall so far, but I'm not complaining. All right. Um, maybe Cam Bynum, another uh, corner. It's a good pick. It's a lot of draft picks, man. Really just throwing darts at this point. I'm kind of leaning towards Jacob Stevens. He's the name that keeps popping up here. Or we could take Brady Breeze, who... Actually... I'm thinking James Wiggins from Cincinnati. Ooh. Ooh. All right. 